Hi, I'm Adam. What? Oh, damn it, I'm Adam. I, what? You're fine, then you be Adam. Fine, then you say you're Connor first. I'm Connor. I'm Adam. Good. We're the beer guys. We are the beer guys. Today's beer review is Squatters Hot Rising. It's a double imperial uh, Indian pale ale. It smells like a can of smashed assholes. It smells like oranges. You've been eating the wrong kind of oranges. I don't eat oranges. Well then how? <laughs> what did I just say? Okay, anyway, for some reason Adam bought a double IPA. Because mm -hmm. we need to review IPAs more. Even though we don't like IPAs, it's a beer we need to get past. Look at that head though. What? It's, it's not even full though. Exactly! I don't want to, like I said, I'm going to pour it slow so I don't fucking... Look at that! Whatever, punk. Look at that beer! Look at that Look at how excited he is. Look at that beer! Look at that beer! Okay, today is a hot rising. Let me show you the bug. Squatters. Uh, it's made in Utah. Funny thing about this, I actually found out. Okay, look. We just did a beer called uh, Devastator. Okay? And uh, when I was buying this beer, when I, when I grabbed it out of the thing, one of the beers had whatever, whatever Devastator's brewing company is, uh, it had its. Uh, Wasatch. Huh? Wasatch. 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 This. Wasatch. No, no, no. It was actually. No, okay. It was a Wasatch beer. Had this cat on a Wasatch beer. And I looked it up, and it's two different breweries, but they brew in the same brewery. That's confusing. It is really confusing. It's like the s different companies in the same brewery, and so they mix and match a bottle cap sometimes. It's really stupid. But I feel like that should be a collector's item for beer people. Yeah. But this is uh, Squatters. It is, uh, yeah, like we said, Indian Pale Ale. It is 9% in alcohol. It's pretty it, says, it says on the bottle it's 75 IBUs. We normally don't go over that because it's not something we look at. But uh, Yeah, we, 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 we normally don't drink Indian Pale Ales. Uh, because they taste like if, dick. If you notice, it, uh, we, we, we've done two Indian Pale Ale reviews, and we, we gave them both bad ratings. But uh, like I said, I feel like we need to be doing more IPAs because we no, need to, we, I'm not a hipster dude. Not I'm more. Not, I'm not... No. Look, not more IPAs, but look, it's a, it's a beer, and we have three shows a, f a week. <laughs> we have three shows a week. We got to review something. I mean, I guess the, the the best shows that we do are generally the beers that taste, like, terrible, so. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and try these. Oh, you smell it. Oh, yeah, we already said it smells like shit. Let go. Like It's better than the last two. I definitely remember. But not by enough. Not by enough. It's drinkable though. You don't think it's drinkable? Like if this was out somewhere. If there was, look, the other two we did was 400 pound monkeys, I, I, uh, in IPA. IPA, and then uh, Summit. This is way better. This, this, I could. I feel like 75 is low for an IPA though. I'm not sure. But uh, if this was somewhere and this is all they had. I would probably grab one and drink it. Plus, it's nine percent alcohol, and so it probably gets you effed up quick. For for the record, for our viewers who are unaware, uh, new beer drinkers, IBUs is international bittering units. It has to do with with how bitter it tastes, how many hops they use. Or, uh, I'm not I'm not sure if they use IBUs for beers that are not bittered with hops, uh, which are pretty few and far between. Uh, especially if it's not a craft beer, you're not really going to find anything that's. Uh, it's not bittered with hops, but uh, but yeah, that's that's what that is. Seventy five is it, it's it's pretty high, but it's on the low end for an IPA. One of the things about IPAs is that like that's they're bitter and like you're a hipster man if you <laughs> hipster man if you yeah, like can can drink <laughs> a really bitter beer, which doesn't make any sense to me. It's like oh, this makes my tongue want to uh, burn itself at the stake on Easter Sunday and then fornicate with. Goats. I don't know. It, 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 I just don't understand the... We gave the other IPAs a 1 and a 2. I'll give us a 4. Oh, yeah, okay. Because I, I, I support 
uh, it, craft it, brews. It's actually and it's actually it tastes kind of similar. I know it's been a long time since we did it, but I just I drank the last one recently, uh, the Oak Derrick and Bastard Ale. It kind of tastes like that. It's good. It's good. I mean, it's, but it's not good because it's we gave it a four, but it, it's. It's better than I expected. If if I went to a party and opened up the cooler and all that was there was this and Natty Light, I'd probably drink this. Yeah. Any uh, questions? I was I, I don't know. I'm kind of concerned because I just prefaced this whole episode with our most interesting episodes are usually the beers. <laughs> and this was just kind of nonchalant, like yeah, well, uh, it's okay. Uh, check the links below. Uh, subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Uh, Share us on, you know, whatever social media you, you use. Um, um, comment on my haircut. Co oh yeah, he got a haircut. Comment on that. Uh, For those of you who can't, I'm not sure. How. Yeah, so Hot Horizon, Squatters, uh, four. Uh, did you say drink responsibly? Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. Okay. No, no, wait. No, I'm just kidding.